All right, let's have a look at this one. This one looks certainly interesting. Um, so clearly on a nice pattern. So I think we'll we'll just do we'll see if we can just come kind of get away with doing one and then uh, using a circular pattern to do this. So let's just get started and see what happens. Choose a plane to draw on. Now I'm going to leave this here as the center. So I'm going to draw a circle all the way up. This I'll draw the circle up here. Now, how far is it up there? Diameter 160, so it's at 80. Do a circle. And we can say we want to have it on the line. And again, we'll, we'll do the tab. Let's, let's restart this. Okay, now we have a new one right here, a lace gasket apparently. Um, clearly, it is has a lot of uh, a lot of uh, repetition to it, right? So it's a pattern. You can use a circular pattern to do this. So we'll try and maybe draw one or two of these and then pattern it around. Um, so from the looks of it, we have a circle, the inside circle, and then this is would be another circle. Those are our 20s and then there is an inside circle is there any inside circles where where are we told i guess this all means that this one is our 20 as well then that's our 30 yeah it must be our 20. all right let's start by just doing one little circle here so let's get our self sketch going um, I'll leave the center of this as the center of, uh, of our coordinate system so I can take a circle and I can just find the center point, right? I can just put it somewhere, uh, hit my tab key. And so it says it has a diameter of 160. So I can put a radius of 80 in here and zero. And then the holes are all supposed to be diameter 20. Click our cube so we see our circle there we go so that is our first circle now how are we going to do this so we could do the second circle let's let's do that and see what happens so we have another circle that's on the same same center right so basically the curve up here and the curve down there those are supposed to be R20, so diameter of 40. Okay, so that's good. Um, but I th think what we'll have to do is we'll have to we'll have to rotate, like do the second one here um, or there um, to kind of get these these troughs here in the middle. So let's do that. Um, before we do that, though, um, let's uh, we'll do a we'll rotate one then. We'll see what happens. Sometimes stuff shifts around when we rotate. So let's hit our rotate button right there. We'll rotate this one and that one, and then we'll say we want to rotate it around the center right there, and we'll say we want a copy. Right? We want to leave what we had. And then we have 12 of those, right? It says here 12 times 30. So our, our rotation should be 30. So let's say apply and done. Now, very good. So we have our second set here. Um, and then we can start figuring out how to do the rest. But before we do anything else, let's, let's kind of lock this in a little bit with some dimensioning. Um, just because sometimes when we do the next step, it kind of shifts stuff around. So this one, 
and that we already have. All right, and just for good measure. Right, so just to make sure that those stay where they're supposed to be, because what we're doing next is we're going to draw a circle that has a diameter of 60, and then we'll kind of put them into here and put them into there, and that should give us um, kind of the shape that we want. So let's go ahead, draw a circle somewhere here, diameter of 60, and then we will use the one of the constraints will use the tangent constraints. So we can say I want to have this circle and this circle be tangents, and that circle and that one to be tangent. Now, sometimes when we use the tangent tool, it will move the circles around to get it to tangent to where the circle already is. That's why I did the extra dimensioning stuff. All right, so that was the tangent. Let's do the second circle up here. Again, 60. And again, my tangent constraint, this circle and that circle, this circle and that circle. And so now I have those on there. Now let's see with our trim command to get rid of the stuff that we don't need. We don't need all of this. Don't need all of that. We don't need this and we don't need that. Now, we also don't need some of this and some of this. I think what we'll do, we'll take these two, this one and that one, and we'll rotate them uh, over. Yeah, let's do that. Rotate this and that. Select that center point, and we can just say yes. Let's remove them. We'll say we want to have a copy, and we want to do another 30 degrees, and we'll say done. All right. So now we should be able to trim this away. And then maybe we can use what's left here to do the pattern. Probably to trim this way. Let's see if we can. What's it say here? I can't see the complaint. Probably because it has all kinds of. Or we don't have to choose that for our pattern. Let's see what we get. Sometimes you just have to check it. We don't need this. We need the two circles. We'll need this. And this, and this, and this, that, and that. Choose the axis would be right there. And we say we want to have 12. And then we say, okay, let's see. That looks pretty good. I think the only thing we're missing, let's see if we can trim this away now. We can. Perfect. That looks pretty good. Now, what else are we missing? We're missing the, the center part here. So let's see. Um, we have, I guess this is a slot. So let's do a slot just to practice slots. And we want to have, we know where the center is and we know kind of the corner point there. So we can use this one here. So we'll say we have a slot. So we want to stay in this direction. And we want to go 40 in this direction. And then the diameter, no, in this case, the diameter. So we're going to have a radius 10, so diameter 20. That be our part of our slot. And then we'll do a circle centered right there. And we're going to say that has a diameter of 50. Interesting that they give the diameter, not the radius there. <laughs> All right, so let's trim the rest of the parts out that we don't need. And I think we're good. Let's finish the sketch. Can't see anything anymore. And then let's extrude the way that it says here. Right? So we'll extrude 
the this part it says thickness six, central area of force. I'm assuming this is six. And we say, okay, so now of course the rest is gone as well. So we have to go in and make that sketch visible again. So now we can extrude the other part. We right click on the sketch and go down where it says visibility. Say yes, hit extrude again. Now we'll choose this part and that's supposed to be four millimeters. So we say, okay. And then we'll go back and turn this one off and let's see that looks pretty much like what we see here yeah i think we, we did it correct 